Hello everybody, Frank Kenny here again with another quick chamber training on social media. So let's talk about clout today and how you can use it to help your members and help yourself. As you probably know, everyone that's watching this video that's using social media has a clout score and it's built from a 0 to 100, it's on that scale and anybody above 60 or 70 has a very high clout score. It's very hard to go from 60 to 70 and then 70 to 80, it's kind of like the Richter scale where it's that much harder to get to the next level. And the more you can do to build your clout score, uh, the more social proof you'll have. People will uh, check your clout score to see if you're uh, uh, using social media well or if you have influence and reach. So here's one way you can use clout for your members that, uh, that they will very much appreciate. So go to your friends list once you're signed into clout. And then you can go to your lists of members that are on clout. Uh, you build that through your Twitter. You should have a list of your members uh, on Twitter and uh, it then translates onto clout. Then you look at this list. For me it's chamber professionals. For you this would be your chamber members and it would list all their clout scores and you could kind of see which members are more influential. Like if you got a brand new member in that has a very high clout score, well all of a sudden you know that, wow, this is a super connector. This person could really help me get the word out about what the chamber is doing and things of that nature. So it, it just, it, it surfaces intelligence that you can use for your, uh, for your chamber. And you can give gifts here, give gifts, be generous to your members by looking at, like Kathy Ryrick here has three different things I can give her a plus K for. If I give uh, Nancy Merlin here, say, a plus K on social media, I can then Twitter it out uh, to my followers and Nancy will see that I did that and it builds the relationship, creates engagement and, uh, it's, and it creates a gift and a lot of times gifts are reciprocated. So this is what you would do for your members. You'd go through your member list uh, and see the you know people that you want to give a plus K to and it's a nice little gift and they'll probably reciprocate and give you one back. But you got to make sure that these three things are what you want to get plus Ks for. A lot of people have never set these up. So here's how you do that. You go back to your profile and you come down to your topics that you want to be well known for and you can click there see more and it brings up your topics and you're limited to just a few topics and so here's the I think the seven or eight that I'm currently getting on plus K's for by various uh, people mostly in the Chamber of Commerce industry and uh, if I wanted to add another one you just go to add a topic and you type it in like small business if that's what you want to be known for or chambers or whatever it happens to be and it'll add that topic and so you want to make sure that the topics that you're adding are what you want to be known for and not just things that clouts guessing on and uh, that's what uh, do that right away and then go out and start giving your members plus K's Twitter it out Facebook it out and build that relationship with your members and uh, it creates engagement and reciprocity and I'll give gifts, be generous and all the great things of social media. So hopefully this has been helpful to you. If you need uh, additional training on anything specific, email me or let me know. And if I can help you in any way, just send me an email, frank at frankjkenny.com. Happy New Year. Bye. -bye.